Welcome to Mile High Fire Training. This video, we're going to show you the deployment and movement of straight ladders. Just because these ladders have been historically used for roof operations, and still can be, they shouldn't be pigeonholed into just that. We like using straight ladders for a few reasons. One, they're a lot lighter than our extension ladders. And two, when you're carrying a victim down, you don't have to worry about lifting them up over the bed section. Or if you are fly out, you don't have to worry about stepping in. Throwing any ladder, but straights in particular, we wanna make sure that we're staying in line with our ladder, parallel with our ladder. You can see in this shot, the firefighter has his right arm raised up above his head, keeping his arm in line with the rest of his body. We're trying to make that pivot point that would normally be your shoulder. We're gonna raise that pivot point up with that right arm. In this next video, you can see the firefighter perpendicular to the ladder. When you're perpendicular to the ladder, you can't keep your arm straight above your head. So your arm comes out at an angle, putting your shoulder at risk for injury. When throwing shorter ladders like 14s and 16s, we're gonna have one hand, doesn't really matter if it's right or left. In this case, it's gonna be the left hand, is gonna be holding the ladder to the ground using one of the rungs or the beams. We're actually gonna be pulling the butt of that ladder onto the ground once we stick it. The other hand is gonna be the one that's gonna do the lifting. So as the right hand is pushing the ladder up, the left hand is pulling the ladder back into the firefighter. If you find yourself in a spot under some power lines, around the trees, that you can't walk while raising the ladder, you have to raise it right where you're standing, you can do a similar thing. Just keep your right arm, or whatever arm you're using to lift, high above your head, take your other arm, and actually feed the ladder up into that hand. Now you've got your ladder up in the air and you wanna move it. We're gonna recommend using the painter's carry. How you're gonna do that is get perpendicular to the ladder, you're gonna have one hand high. That's gonna be, again, making that pivot point as high as we possibly can. The other hand is gonna grab the second rung from the bottom. The reason we're using the second rung is because if you use the one that's closest to you, it's not gonna give you enough clearance to get over curbs, terrain, things like that. So we're gonna grab that second rung from the bottom. We're gonna do almost a squat, pick it up, and the ladder is gonna be kind of leaning into our chest a bit. Then we can walk to our point of deployment. When the ladder's gotta come down, we're gonna do what we've been doing this whole video. We're gonna keep that right arm straight, and we're gonna let the ladder slide down away from us, keeping that pivot point as high as we can. We're gonna use the same techniques for longer ladders like the 20s as we are for the 14s and 16s. If you're struggling with the longer ladders like the 20s, and you're smart enough to take a ladder package with you, you can actually use another straight ladder to foot that longer ladder. Here's some downfalls that we see. People who either come in too close and end up just pushing the ladder away from them, or they go too far down the ladder and actually pick up the end of the ladder that they're trying to use as a butt block. You can avoid both those things by coming in around two thirds of the way down the ladder. 